Surfing has been the inspiration for artists since the earliest days of the sport. Hawaiians carved stylized surfing petroglyphs into lava rocks years ago, and since then the creative sport has met creative artists. We were pleased to meet Megan Fiore, a talented girl from San Diego who's visually articulating the soul of Southern California surf culture for us. My dad taught me to surf, and then my mom is, has studied art, and she's a teacher, and so I always had um, paints and things available, and I just um, I was tired of always painting from photos and different things and I wanted to paint from experience and I understand surfing enough and feel I identify with it to want to represent it and to share the feelings and the trials of being a surfer and also the, just the enjoyment of it. Though her work represents surfing, it's not exclusively about surfing. The ocean. The relationship between people. Um, I think surfing brings that out. I think um, it brings a community interaction. If I'm surfing with friends, I'll see a moment that I want to capture in a painting, and, and that's, I think, the best kind of painting for me, is when I'm, I'm on, at the beach and I see a moment that's worth representing and spending the time to make a painting of it. That's, that's where my inspiration, as far as um, figuratively, what I do. I also enjoy taking waves and abstracting them. So they still look like waves, but they take on a personality and aren't necessarily a realistically look looking wave. That's how she transcends her visions of surfing into human emotions. You're the masterpiece on the wall with the word beautiful caption. You go into a concept and an idea, um, and that's kind of the essence of painting and the choices that you do make when you create something is your goal. What I decide to paint is part of our lives, but there are usually shared sweet moments between, between friends or family and that kind of thing. Even though Megan has done artwork for some companies, she sees the hype in a realistic context. It's very popular and cool to be an artist right now, connected with the surf or the skate industry. There's, there's no doubt about that. And it's helping artists because we're out there, we're able to, if I create a painting and someone buys it, only someone who goes over to their, my, that person's house is going to see it, unless it's somewhere else. If I create a piece of artwork and put it on a t-shirt, then thousands of people can enjoy that. Unfortunately, you can also get trapped into creating certain kinds of art because that's what you're being pushed to make or that's what they think people want to see. So it, it's good and bad. Like she says, everybody has to make his or her own choices. So Megan, is art or surfing your biggest love? There's times where they both um, help me in my day and help me concentrate and just be a more complete person. Because I mean, surfing's very, you're outside, it's athletic. Painting, you can be outside, but you're very still. You're, you're sitting down or you're standing and painting. And it's more cerebral and in your mind than an actual action. So I, I, I wouldn't want to give up either. Seems like the future is holding enough challenges for her to express surfing, its culture, and lifestyle.